guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a mismatch nail set. I really love how these turned out, and I really hope that you guys try this design out as well. Later on in the video, I am going to be putting a reference picture, just so you can see what I'm referring to. Um, I got these nail tips from Amazon recently. I do like how they turned out, and they were pretty decently cheap as well. Um, they do have a higher apex than my other one. It was literally just flat. So I really like how this one does have an apex on it and it does look a lot better. I did get these nail stands from Amazon. I also got the sticky tack from Walmart. So you can buy this from anywhere. You could probably buy it from the dollar store. But I said this in my last video, I do want to get the Gorilla Glue. Uh, mounting putty which i've heard is very good from my nail slave by val she's my favorite youtuber for press-ons i learned a lot from her So here's the reference picture that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is by Nail by Devo. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not sure. I've been following her for a while um, when I used to do acrylic, and she's just such a talented nail artist. She's great. So I did use her picture as a reference. I did change a couple things here and there um, that I want to do myself. Um, for example, for the thumbnail, it's like a flame, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, so I end up doing cherries that you'll see later on in the video. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do that, so I just love doing the mismatch nails. I actually do have some mismatch nails on right now. If you check it out on my Instagram, you'll be able to see it. Um, my username is in the intro of it and it will be linked down below as well it's just nails done by kai and all of the polishes that i am using are for i think it's called model ones i think i finally figured out how to say it it's model ones i think so all the polishes are from there and they're all pretty decent i mean some of them do are some of them are more sheer than others so it makes it a little bit more difficult because I do have to do more coats, which does take more time um, and makes the nail look a little bit thicker. So I try to do as thin of coats as possible. And that's the most important thing when you're making press-ons is making the coats as thin as you can make them. So having a more opaque polish is the best for press-ons. So for the French tip, since all the nails are French tip on this nail, on this set, sorry, it took a really long time. So what I try to do is put a line in the middle, the length of what I want the uh, French tip to be, how long I want it to be. Um, and then I put two lines on the side. And this is more like a deep French tip, so I did put the slides on the side all the way to the cuticle and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and i just clean it up with some acetone in my cleanup brush and it works really really well when i do it that way but i'm still trying to find a good guide to make it go a little bit quicker i usually spend like five to ten minutes on one nail 
because again I'm still a beginner so I'm trying to um, definitely get quicker with doing um, friendships since they are so popular nowadays and a lot of people love friendships so I definitely could be quicker with that but of course it all takes time and I will get there. So here, um, for the flowers, what you want to do is kind of make like a teardrop shape. I, that's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, make like a teardrop shape and make the tip of it not as pointy. Make it just a little bit thinner than the top. <laughs> it's really hard to explain, but um, the best is honestly just getting a reference picture of a flower and trying to mimic that a little bit. I always... Um, do well with reference pictures they work the best for me i'm really good at copying a picture especially cartoons i'm really good at copying pictures so definitely find a reference picture and i'm sure that will help a lot better than just freestyling it of course i had my inspo picture to help me a little bit more and for the flowers i'm doing a rainbow um inspired for pride month so i really loved how these turned out considering it's my first time ever doing the flowers i really 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 liked how it turned out So for the clouds, basically, I just took some 
white gel polish and my ball tip. I did the smaller side and I basically just did a bunch of little uh, scribbles to kind of make it look like a cloud. I just, I didn't really look at the reference picture for this. I kind of just imagined what it would look like and you just want to make the bottom flat and then just put a bunch of like just bring the gel polish up a little bit more and it's really easy to make the clouds honestly and for the cow print of course my favorite print is probably the cow print one of them at least i didn't get a video of me doing the orange around the smile line i don't know what happened i don't know where the video went to that i don't think i hit record For the smiley, for the black nail, you don't know how long this took me to draw. The, I did this at least 10 times trying to do it. It took me so long. I'm not sure why. It was so difficult to make the smile really thin and look not crazy. <laughs> so, um, and for the flowers, I just outlined the rest in black and then used my ball tool just to make the eyes and then I realized later on after I finished the nails that on the flower there's like a red mouth and I didn't even know that until after so I didn't put that on but I wish I did but it's okay it still looks really good and what you want to do is just take a really thin brush and take whatever color you want to outline something it takes a lot of practice to outline i'm still learning how to do it it's really hard it's hard to make all the lines very even so just a cleanup brush with some acetone it will save you it will help a lot So now for the cherries, I kind of freestyled this. I didn't take any reference pictures because I changed up the uh, nails from the inspo picture. So I just freestyled this and I kind of made it look like a heart. And instead of the top of the heart being more pointy, I did it wider than usual. And it, I kind of wanted it to make a heart shape as the cherry. And I did that for both sides. It definitely took some practice. Of course, it will take time doing um, a design for the first time or whatever. So just, again, as I said before, use some acetone or alcohol. Just wipe away and try it again. Definitely took me a couple tries to get this. I just edited it out so it's not so long. And for the croc print nail, I love croc print designs. I think they're so, so, so pretty. I did a while back a blue croc print design that's on my Instagram, and I really loved how it turned out. I did it with Gel X, and I thought it turned out really, really cute. That was like my first time doing croc nails. So you basically just want to do, the typical one is just putting lines. You can use a ball tool or you can use a brush. In this case, I used a brush. And you just want to make some lines and take a good amount of gel polish and don't cure it and take some clear acrylic powder and use a anything to put it over. And you don't want to wipe it, just leave it and let it cure for 60 seconds and then wipe it off with a brush and you have your croc print and i really really loved how it turned out i think croc print is just such a classic um design it's just so pretty and you can do that with anything you can do that with any design you can do hearts you can do these stars you can do anything and just put acrylic powder on it and you're good to go honestly the the most the best tip that I can give for croc print nails is definitely making the gel polish thicker because if you make it the 
gel polish thinner it won't show up as much typically with the crock paint you do the same color so if it's too thin of the gel polish then it won't really show up as much and it won't give that 3d effect so i do recommend doing a thicker coat of gel polish And now I'm using my Beatles top coat, which is my ultimate favorite top coat. I ran out of it, so I had to get more of it. And put it all over your nails, and then you are done. I love how this nail set turned out. It looks amazing. I'm really proud of how it turned out, considering I'm still a beginner at nails and French tips. And I think it looks so amazing. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Um, comment, like, and subscribe, and see you in my next video. Bye, guys!